हेलो एवरी वन लेटेस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम व्हिच इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ द ऑर्थोपेडिक्स एंड इट इज द ऑर्थोपेडिया इमरजेंसी सो कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम इज बेसिकली द एलिवेशन ऑफ द इंटरस्टिशियल प्रेशर इन अ क्लोज ओस्टियो फेशियल कंपार्टमेंट ओके हियर वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दिस क्लोज ओस्टियो फेशियल कंपार्टमेंट Uh, that results in microvascular compromise and further resulting in muscle and nerve ischemia okay we have various compartment bounded by the fascia and muscles bones in our limbs so whenever there is rise in the pressure in those compartment due to various reasons there is microvascular compromise uh, so which leads to the ischemia of the muscle and nerve and can further damage and cause the death of those muscles and the nerves then uh, talking about the etiology of the compartment syndrome we basically have two etiology okay so for rising the of the pressure in this compartment either there must be reduced compartment size or there must be increased compartment content okay we can imagine um, imagine it in a balloon or in a bottle so there is increase in the pressure inside it either either when we press that bottle or balloon or uh, when we fill with more air or water in that bottle or balloon okay so what can reduce the compartment size there are basically these causes which are tight dressing bandage or cast similarly localized or external pressure lying on the limbs like when there is cross injury on the legs and the forearm similarly when there is closure of the facial defects similarly there can be increased compartment content which can be either by due to bleeding um so there is um, vascular injury bleeding disorders or increase in capillary permeability which can lead to increase in the compartment content so for the clinical features we basically have to remember about six p's okay what are those pain paresthesia pulselessness pallor paralysis and pressure in these also pain is the most important clinical feature okay so um, what type of pain it is excruciating pain you know very severe pain but on the passive stretch okay when the examiner uh, stretches the uh, limb which has compartment syndrome then there is very severe or excruciating pain so we can so there is a test also uh, called as stretch test which is the earliest sign of impending compartment syndrome in this test also the examiner when stretches the limb there is excruciating pain okay so what are the consequences of those compart of this compartment syndrome uh, i have already mentioned there is compromise of the vascular system that leads to a vicious cycle thus and um, is thus initiated and continued until the vascularity within the comp compartment is jeopardized so after that the necrotic muscle undergo healing with fibrosis leading to contractures and there is nerve damage which may lead to motor and sensory loss so the most common fractures which can lead to compartment syndrome are supracondylar fracture of the humerus uh, forearm bone fracture closed tibial fracture cross injuries to leg and forearm and some in some way traumatic injury a traumatic swelling of the limb and sometimes in case of the snake bite also okay so there is a cycle which we call as eaton and green cycle for compartment syndrome you can see here there is increased uh, permeability capillary permeability there is intramuscular edema there is increased intramuscular pressure then there is venous lymphatic obstruction which leads to arterial occlusion and spasm and finally to muscle ischemia which again leads to release of the histamine 
okay so this cycle goes on which is the eaten and green cycle for compartment syndrome so uh, for summary we have to remember the clinical features the six p's similarly what are the etiology there is either reduced compartment size or increased compartment content so this much for today bye bye